How's it going everybody? Today's video is going to be a quick one. This will be a time lapse of repowering this three phase 1975 Rockwell 14 inch bandsaw. So you just saw there that wiring is the power cord and it is delaminating. So I got the saw for a really good price and it was sold as not working. Um, it's a half horsepower three phase motor. It's got a lot of components in there. And what we're going to do to get this thing working is we're going to rip out all those components, the starter boxes, the relays, the motor, all that's coming out, all the wiring's coming out, and we're going to put in a half horsepower Dayton. That's uh, a 110 uh, volt motor, so we can run it just through a regular switch and it'll run on any household uh, power. So we're going to start the teardown process. With these, I like to be a little bit more careful and just take my time because you never know if you're going to need to reuse items. So instead of just going in there and cutting all the wires and cutting bolts, um, just take your time, throw some WD-40 on it, vacuum it out, and take it all out as the way it was installed. That way you can lay it out, and if there's anything you have to reuse, then you're able to reuse it and not have to go out and buy it again. Taking off the starter switches, there's a lot of uh, stuff that looks like it was added afterwards, just because this was an industrial-style machine, they made it fit. So there's all the wiring. Those are your starter boxes, relays. That's what uh, the power cord looked like, and that's also the inside. That's going right to the motor. So if you guys are watching this and you guys have older equipment, check the wiring. Um, this is also a really good reminder why you should always unplug your equipment when you're done with it. Um, it's just going to take one of those hot wires to touch a metal part of that box or part of that machine and start a fire, and your whole shop goes up in smoke, and <laughs> we know we don't want that. So now that I got all the innards out there, I had that uh, little half horsepower Dayton. And that same horsepower, make sure that your horsepower and your RPM match up. So this is 1720, I believe. So same same RPM range. And same thing, it's just tedious. There's not a lot of working space in there. So getting all the bolts to line up and just making sure that it's done right so we're not going to throw belts off. Uh, there I am wiring up the switch. It's just a regular 110 switch and put new wires into it. and. Just be careful. If you're not very comfortable with wiring, take it to an uh, electrician, have them do it. If you're comfortable with it, just make sure you're you know, following all the safety guidelines. And this is a, this is a good way to get really good working uh, woodworking equipment or metalworking equipment, because a lot of three-phase equipment, these commercial shops, they just want to get rid of it. So you can get for scrap prices, and if it's sold not working, and it's a smaller horsepower motor, say one to two horsepower, then you can easily repower it like this and have industrial quality equipment in your shop. So here I am putting uh, some urethane tires on here. If your bandsaw is having issues throwing blades or just not tracking right, get new tires. Hands down, the number one fix with these saws. Um, they're a little bit of a pain to put on, but just take your time and work through it and you'll be glad you did. Uh, there I am putting new thrust bearings on and new uh, cold blocks, so the ones that will keep the blade lined up. Uh, putting a new table on after I got the rust and the corrosion off of it and just making sure it's all lined up So I'm gonna get ready to take my first cut on it and Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This would be hopefully some good uh, good inspiration to just if You're mechanically inclined and willing to it put into work. You can get industrial quality machines You know for super cheap. You just have to have a spare old motor lying around Which is very easy to get off Craigslist or Facebook marketplace as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day